Welcome back, Libra. If this is the first time that you're joining me on this channel, is going to be your May 2020 Sun, Moon, and Rising ASMR Tarot Forecast. I don't have any fancy spray today. I just have plain potable water. But, you know, a good time to stay hydrated and I feel like water is very underappreciated. Moved out here to Los Angeles and it's a very dry place and water is actually very dear. We did get a lot of rain this year so far. Do with that what you will. crystal that I'll be working with today a bit. Love how it has these beautiful bands inside. Opaque, green, purple. Like this chunk of smoky quartz, which is very good at banishing negativity, but there's a lot of stones that are. Black tourmaline is good at banishing negativity. Kyanite smoky quartz and I also have my tourmalated quartz pendulum in case we need a yes or no answer to any questions the decks I'll be using today This is the Heindel Tarot, which I purchased when I was in New Orleans a few years ago now, on my way out here to California. And I'm definitely not trying to rub it in that I live in Los Angeles. I'm so so grateful to be here, honestly. I don't know how long I'll stay. Um, we did buy scented candles earlier today and went outside to do some ATM business, which we go out like maybe once a week. There's, um, my husband does online sales, so we do have to go out to go to the post office and stuff. And this candle, I've been getting so close to the end, and I just really, really was going to be sad. The scent of this candle is called Bonfire Nights, and um, it brings me a lot of comfort. The crackling sound without it giving off like the heat of an actual bonfire or fireplace is very soothing to me. And the smell is like an open fire. It's my favorite candle smell. I like leather and teak wood and oud smells like that. 
sometimes they'll label something teak wood and it's not really teak wood and I just like really strong foresty smells. We were outside and the air was just so nice. We've been leaving the windows open as much as we can to just get as much warm California sunshine into the apartment as possible. We've been trying to go out at least a little bit every day, just sitting and reading down by the pool. But we haven't we haven't gone in the pool, obviously. Anyway, Libra, how about you? How have you been doing? I'm going to start shuffling these cards and dealing them, but I'm listening. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I heard about that. Is everyone okay? Oh man. Gosh, that must be tough to deal with. Oh, no way. <laughs> well, that's good at least. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that is a relief, for sure. It's not great, but it's something. Oh! <laughs> I can't believe that. Oh my god, no. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, we both, we, we had talked about that. Yeah, we have talked about that before. All right. I am going to shuffle this a little bit before we get started. This is Pixie's Astounding Normand. Now, Pixie refers to Pamela Coleman Smith. That was a nickname of hers. And um, she's the one, of course, who drew the illustrations for the Rider Waite tarot deck. Probably doesn't get as much credit as she deserves. But they collaged together some images from the Rider Waite tarot and I guess it was a, a story that she had illustrated called The Golden Vanity or something like that. Maybe it was a book. I'm not sure. But it's very cute. And I enjoy using them a lot. I have tiny little baby hands. They're pretty strong. They're just very small. Don't get that grip and strength. Do get a lot of twerk. Right. So the first house ruled by Aries. Uh, House of Beginnings. And it's the moon. Oh, that's a very interesting beginning. Oh, I heard somebody's emergency broadcast system buzzing going off. If that happens in the middle of this video, I'm going to be so irritated. 
Yeah, I guess it can be. This is much more important. They don't need me. They don't need my help right now. Yeah, we've got uh, this horse over here that's like, it's kind of a horse, it's kind of a kelpie, it's kind of a unicorn. It's all kinds of mixed up and scary. Uh, what do we have here? The clover. But you're lucky. And you have mobility. And control. Yeah, so luck, mobility, and control, very much so. So even in the uncertain twilight of the moon, you'll be fine. Second house, house of possessions, governed by Taurus. It's victory in the reverse. So, there's something specific that you're working towards. And victory is coming, but not in May. A little bird told me. You got the moon coming out again. A lot of darkness, unclear things, and the fish, which is money. The moon can also be art. So if you're involved in an artistic endeavor, you might be waiting for that to pay off. People, you might have a lot of buzz developing around your name, um, and it will happen. It just isn't going to be in May. Third house. House of communication. You have the three of swords here. And it's in the reverse. So you're waiting for somebody to break your heart. You're waiting for that phone call for this person to just cut you loose. The bear is a powerful person, powerful and dangerous. We've got the cross, which represents divine intervention, and the child. So I get here that somebody is immature or helpless in this situation against somebody who's much more powerful and there will be divine intervention probably on the behalf of the helpless person the helpless party all right fourth house home family ruled by cancer And we have the High Priestess in the reverse. So maybe hidden things are becoming clear um, about your living situation. Maybe there were secrets being kept by a roommate and now all of that is coming out. Secrets being kept by a partner, an ex, a kid, um, somebody in your family. And now all of this is starting to come out. You've got the fox here. That's about cunning. Either you're going to have to be smart because they're smart. You've got the letter. That's news coming in. Could be good, could be bad, could be about discipline. 
or it could be mm, this could be a court summons for some of you this could be somebody knocking on your door with a warrant and you're like I don't know what this is about and then you find out that you're son ran over somebody with a car and then just drove away. I mean, I hope that's not what happened, but, uh, you know, somebody's hiding something like that from you and you're going to find out about it soon. Um, you probably will find out in May because, you know, reversals, they're just... They're just a little up to interpretation. It's just a little. Sometimes this means it is happening now. Sometimes this means it's not happening right now. Um, fifth house. Fifth house is Leo. Fifth house is your creativity and your romance. And it is the Knight of Wands. There is a fiery, passionate energy burning within you, yearning to get out. Looks like it is escaping. Like in the old cartoons when the smoke would come out of their ears. That's Knight of Wands energy. Krishna playing the flute. Alright. Yeah, maybe over a lady. Or maybe there's a lady involved. Maybe your art partner is a lady. Maybe your romantic partner. Maybe they're just very femme. Your tree. This is something that's been developing for a very long time. You've been cultivating it. And we have the stork. The stork brings blessings. That's why we show them as bringing us our children. So yeah, the stork is bringing in a blessing to you creatively. Sixth house. The sixth house is Virgo energy, and it's all about your daily life, your health, and your routines. And we have the lovers. Could be that there's a choice to be made. A lot of people say Adam didn't make that choice. Well, he didn't make the same choice twice, that's for sure. It could be about a romantic partner, but usually, um, it comes out as a choice needing to be made regarding a romantic partner, too. And it is the Gemini card. So it could be a soul, soul twin, soul twin flame. You know I don't use words like that.
Right, we've got the key. You're gonna have access to things that you haven't before. Could be a choice regarding your health. And maybe all of a sudden you've lucked into some health insurance. And it's like, oh god, I have this rotten molar back here. It's time to get that figured out. Oh, look, I have just enough to get some bridge work done. You know, it really would be great if I could afford acupuncture. Kind of stuff. Treat yourself. Got the clouds, so you're going to have access to things you didn't before, just in time to find shelter from this growing and impending storm, right? And the lilies, which are about a need for discretion and a reminder to purify yourself. All right, we have seventh house. This is all about your marriage partner, other partnerships. This is about court cases, legal issues, and open enemies. It's the sun in the reverse. What Leo did you piss off? I'm kidding. But this is a card for the sign of Leo. It is in the reverse here. Um, but it could also speak to a possible marriage in the future, a possible happy ending for you and somebody else, or maybe reconciling with an open enemy, or, but yeah, it's probably about relationships. This is a tarot after all, right? The mice. Just like sands through the hourglass. These mice nibble away at your resources and or your happiness. There's a house, possibly a new family life will be coming together for you sometime this year, maybe. And we have the stars, which compounds the energy of the sun. It's to remind you that everything's going to turn out just fine. All right, uh, the eight, eighth house. So the eighth house is Scorpio's house. In case you have a Scorpio cusp or Scorpio rising. This is an interesting card to get for Scorpio. I have met some Scorpios who can be a little self-righteous from time to time. I'm not saying that's what this is. This is the Hierophant, however. So the Hierophant is your tendency to, you know, be a little on the moral high ground, possibly. Or it could be a marriage. Who knows? This is a general reading. Just for the tarot readings today, I wore my shirt with all the spicy boys on it. Got my Desert Time spicy boys. Scorpio, it's down here. You can't see it. No. Stop. Inappropriate. The coffin. There's going to be an ending. Um, maybe your values got in the way of 
some kind of dealing that you had with somebody. The writer. We've got news coming in. And a gentleman. Allegedly. So. See so news coming in. This could be a death for some of you, honestly. Um, I don't want to be bleak like that, but um, considering the certain, the current climate we're in, um, could be getting news about the death of somebody that you care about. And I'm really sorry about that, if that's true, but this is a general reading. Um, I wouldn't want to ignore it and then, uh, you know, not, not honor that. Um, in which case, you might be involved in the funeral, you might be a pallbearer or something like that. That's only going to be for some of you. This could also be, um, as I said before, sticking your moral high ground and losing a friend over it. So neither one of those is great. But the rest of the reading is pretty good. Look, we got so much control and luck going into the month of May. So much, so much creativity. So much money, not in May, but soon. All right, the ninth house. It's the Sagittarius house, so you know it's it's wild. It's about higher education or travel, anything that elevates you to a higher vibration, and we have the daughter of cups in the north which is like the page of cups which is an emotional offering there's going to be obstacles to overcome but there's a strong foundation there you got the mountain up high, you got the anchor down low. Sometimes the only way is through and a ring. So maybe that's a partnership with somebody. The ring's always about a partnership. Could be a business partnership though. Or a musical project, art project. Again, you're just bursting with creativity. Don't squander it. God, so many people are getting King of Wands reversed in the 12th house. What is that about? Get off the couch. Wipe off that Cheeto dust. Just kidding. Whatever you do to cope is fine. Alright. The 10th house. Capricorn's house. This is... your career and it's coming but not yet this is the queen of pentacles card and it's reversed so not yet but it looks very promising you're going to have to cut some things out of your life in order to make room or the new energy. Secrets, possibly? You holding on to secrets? Are you? Can't, can't shine the light in your face, but... Not gonna hook you up to a polygraph over it. Me get out the pendulum. These are your secrets, not mine. 
Eleventh house. Eleventh house is cool. It's all about what's going on up here. Your psychic states and your psychological states. Is the Ten of Pentacles reversed? So the Ten of Pentacles is an ending. And when it comes to Pentacles, it's happy ending. It means lots of money. But it's reversed. Maybe you're really, really trying to manifest that. Maybe you're really trying to manifest that happy ending of money right now. But there's something you got to do first, and it is pick a side. Very loyal to a snake. Yeah, so, I mean, there's like a decision that you're going to have to make. Because I see that somebody's being loyal to somebody when what they need to do is pick the other pick the other path. Um, here we are. I wonder if it's going to be the King of Wands reversed. No, I'm just kidding. It's clearly not, because it, you can tell when these cards are upright. Oh, this is really good. Oh, yeah, Weaver, you're going to like this. upright so much creative energy right now you're just like busting out busting out at the seams oh my god it's crazy what do we even have here it doesn't even matter tend your garden you got this could be a flirtation or it could be a gift and a heart Good job, Libra. Good job having a good month of May. Of course, we'll find out more mid-month because I'm going to start doing crystal scrying for the mid-months. So if you enjoy my readings, then you should join me for some crystal, good old-fashioned crystal scrying halfway through the month. Uh, we're also going to do some more videos will be a little bit similar to what I've done before but I'm always trying to improve my technique trying to improve how I present my work and I'm tweaking it I've got lots of time to work on it right now so I'm trying to get everything like really good like LA good anyway glad to see you here again, Libra. It's been a lot of fun hanging out, and I hope to see you again soon.